Welcome everybody to episode 29 of Universe Mode in WWE 2K22. We have a tag team match with Dewdrop and Nia Jax facing off against Nikki uh, Ash and what's her name? Rhea Ripley. Um, they're not entering together because I wanted to test out this other attire that I might just use for Dewdrop for now on. But I didn't want to like change the tires that the base Dewdrop has, so yeah. Uh, also just announced, Dewdrop demands a women's title shot on the Raw brand at the pay-per-view, so it'll be Dewdrop versus Stephanie McMahon at um, Extreme Rules, and it, it's simply because I couldn't really think of anything else for Stephanie McMahon to do, and like. The one consistent rule I want to do for pay-per-views is that all four major titles, no matter what, will always be on the line of pay-per-views, even if there's, like, no storyline for them. The other titles, you know, can skip pay-per-view or whatever, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, the four, like, the both women's titles and the both uh, world championships for the men will always be on the line. Okay, we got the Dewdrop. We got the Drew Dewdrop attire, oh my god, from Elimination Chamber, the coolest attire ever. That I kind of actually like a lot. It's like an actual attire. I wouldn't mind if she like uses this full time, honestly. Because uh, the one she uses on t TV, and really, I mean, in WWE in general, in before WWE, just kind of feels like they just threw something on her and go, here you go. I don't know if the dew drop, you know, on the tits is needed, but I don't know. And we got Rhea Ripley, who uh, I think has lost every single match with Nikki Ash. Uh, I'm probably going to separate the team so then Rhea Ripley could actually do some single stuff. Because I've noticed, in this game, if you're in a tag team, you're always going to do tag team stuff. And you're going to basically have the same matches over and over again, because there's not a lot of tag teams to face. There's Rhea Ripley. I don't like her look in this game, honestly. It looks like her, but at the same time, it, it doesn't look like the best version of Rhea Ripley from recent memory. She looks a little cartoonish, despite the bottle looking good. But I'd say she looks cartoonish on TV, so I don't know. And then uh, Nikki Ash. Um, is this her debut in Universe Mode? I don't know. She's been in um, the other mode. All right. Um, Let's, let's see. This is my critique time. Critique corner with Rise Swag on Critique and 22 models. This is probably going to be a little bit of a quicker episode, mainly just because I want to get this done so I can just set up the, the pay per view and then do the pay per view before lunch. And then probably take a week break from Universe Mode from recording it at least. Nikki Ash, I guess, looks good. I mean, it's easy to do a model when you know, she's wearing a costume like that, but you know, whatever. I wonder if I could have other people dress up as Nikki Ash. That would be interesting. Oh, su suplex. Oh, pushing Ripley to the ground. She's gonna show. Oh my god, Ripley, who's just the toughest one. And oh my god, she taps already. What's the wording on her back? The dude jump off. I don't know if I like it, actually, in this game. I thought it would look a little better. Generic entrance thing from them, but whatever. <laughs> Next match. I forgot to make this a regular uh, tornado tag, so it's just going to be a tag match. It's going to be JBL. And uh, Jay Lawler against Chad Gable and um, Corey Graves. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with this match. What's Corey Graves even really doing here? You really have to ask yourself, like, what's his intent? Why is he here? I don't know. Underway, Hello everybody, it's me, Chad Gable. Thank you. 
I have a 4.0 GPA and I graduated at the top of my class at Harvard University. And I'm the tag team guy in the KKK. And of course, there's Corey Graves, who is the newest member of the KKK. Hit him, Corey. Oh my god, no. Corey Graves has joined the KKK. Now there's four members. I was starting to think that maybe they couldn't find anybody else because no one else has joined in a few weeks, but Corey Graves is in the KKK. Oh! Oh my god, oh, he's kicking. Kicking JBL while he's down. By God, my goal, he thinks he's the better broadcast partner than I am. Three of the four guys are noticeably commentators in WWE. Not all now, because I, I mean, JB, uh, Jay Lawler is basically the backup commentator at this point when someone can make it, like Corey Graves next week on Raw. And JBL is, doesn't really do commentary anymore. He does the pre-show stuff now, though, which is cool. Corey Graves is, of course, on Raw commentary every week. And he really hates Byron Saxton. Maybe, maybe Corey Graves isn't racist. Maybe he's not like some old right bigot. Maybe he just doesn't like Bro Byron Saxton so much that he wants to take him down a peg. Oh, he fades it too? Oh! Oh, the big boot. Whoops, he missed that. Nope. Maybe just hit him, Jay I mean, Corey Graves. Oh. Bam! Oh! 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 What a dirty move, honestly. Oh! Takes him down. I don't know. I don't know what his move is. Oh! What's the move? <laughs> Finisher. Submission. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he just attacked. Oh! Jay Lawler, come on, buddy! Oh! We hate to see our boys, the Stooges, the loveliest couple in WWE history. Oh, just get beat up by bigots like this. Oh, let's let it go. Let's let it go here. He said that was the wrong move, guys. I'm sorry about that. This is the right move, I guess. Jerry. Get up! No! JBL was just too slow. This is the first time they've lost a legit tag match. Things are not looking good. Thank you! We won! We did a match. We're very good. I want to announce that at Extreme Rules, Corey Graves and I are going to simply be the tag team challengers to the Panty Raiders. So, Panty Raiders, you better watch out. Because the KKK is coming for you. And we don't come lightly. Wow, I can't believe it. The Penny Raiders will be back in time for Stream Rules to fight the KKK. And in fact, Jerry Lawler, I think Lacey Corporate Evans Kane wants a title match against you and oh, We have Lacey Evans. Versus Tony Storm, Miss Money in the Bank, who kind of everyone's forgetting about, but whatever. Oh! Will she ever cash in? 
Oh, beautiful move from Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, of course, is going to brag and pose after that move. Oh. Oh, great move. Tony Storm might have won Miss Money in the Bank, but she's not really having the best run since winning it. But remember, she has, the, she has it for 10 more months. So anything could really happen. Oh, big boot after big boot. Okay, Tony Storm. I mean, Lacey Evans, we get it. Oh! Whoops. She's going to kick her in the ass. Like, I can't believe it. Don't do this. Oh. Nah, nah, honey. I'm going to try again. You're going to get kicked in your big ass. We always say don't let her looks deceive you. Lacey Evans is about as dangerous a competitor as they can. Oh. We do, Cole, and that definitely applies here. Don't let her southern belt demeanor fool you. you have You're a nasty. To to Whoops, that didn't work. What the fuck? Okay. Let's try this. Ah. That has to hurt, really, guys. Fuck. <laughs> What the? Why does that not work? Whatever again. Oh! Maybe Lacey Evans' ass is too big. Maybe Lacey... Maybe... I mean, Tony Storm's ass is too big. Maybe Lacey Evans is actually hitting Tony Storm in the ass, but her ass is no-selling it. Oh! Oh! Woman's right! BAM! For the pin, and possibly for the win. One, two, three, and Lacey Evans is victorious here on Universe Mode. So traditional! Blah, blah, and now you want to suck my boobs, but I won't, but I will not let you. Alright, uh, what a terrible cover from Rice Flag. I'm sorry for that. All right, next match. To oh fuck, I forgot to do. All right, whatever. You know what? I want to do the entrance for the next match, but it's whatever, guys. It's Stone Cold Steve Harvey against William Regal. I want William Regal to just have one nice little entrance in this series because I know he's a guy that I want to use in Eve's mode, but like that I just never do because like there's so many other people to use. So it's like you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm using all these cards, I think William Regal probably would have a good run on this but yeah because of, because he's not it's like uh, you know <laughs> what are you made of it already this is a no disqualification yeah it's fine this is gonna be a quick episode i don't want this to be more than like 17 minutes simply because i need to set up the pay-per-view and then record the heavy today so i can kind of officially like, take a break from universe my for a week or so oh i'm happy william regal is in this game i think he missed 2k20 which is very weird Oh. I don't know if he was a 2K19, honestly. I feel like this is the first WWE game he's been on in a while. I'll really have to check it out. Stone Cold Steve Harvey laying out, laying out a barrel of punches. You KKK bastard! You son of a bitch! William Regal says, I'm not in the KKK, dude. I just wanted a main event match. Okay. That's cool. Oh, William Regal. Oh, we were getting some losing. Yes, we were going. We don't want him to win, but we want him to have a good showing, so maybe he'll get booked in the future. Yeah. Ow. 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 Fuck you, William Rigo. Don't bite my body. Now, ah. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Harvey's coming back! I love how they don't censor the middle fingers in this game. Like, that's so cool. Oh! 
Oh, trying to create separation here as Stone Cold is trying to separate his lips from his head, from his body, with these punches. Now let's go over there. I like the corner better. Um, you're not supposed to fall from that, Regal. You no good son of a bitch. Let's lift you up and pile drive your ass. In fact, I'm gonna lift that broke. I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. Oh, what? So cold, Steve Harvey. Picks William Regal up. With the dice press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight punches. Yeah, I'm feeling revved up tonight. I'm feeling revved up, Stone Cold Steve Harvey fans. Hit him with the stunner. You know what? I'm not feeling that one. Let's do it again. Get up, William Regal. Oh, the stunner. I'm a snake, bitch. One. Two, three, Stone Cold Steve Harvey beats William Regal. What a match, guys. I'd like to thank my fans because I wouldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to beat T-Bar at Extreme Rules. Alright guys, thanks for watching. A bit of a short episode of SmackDown, but you know what Extreme Rules is up next, so it'll be exciting. I'll probably it'll be probably be two three videos. I don't know for sure. But it'll be fun. It'll be good. We gotta course the fan for a match between so or between um, you know, Stardust, um the Fiend, Brock Lesnar, and uh Edge for the uh, WWE Championship, and of course we got Stone Cold Steve Harvey versus T-Bar. We got Dewdrop versus Stephanie McMahon for her women's, uh, women's championship. We got Alexa Bliss versus Lacey Evans for her women's tag team championship, and we have other matches too. Stay tuned; it'll be fun.